Okay, here we go. And we are ready to talk about nothing other than the package again. So, nothing. 29 days in transit. I looked at the tracking number. eBay's system is such... It's all shit. So, a lot of times I put my tracking numbers in other tra um, databases so I can figure out where my package is a little better. Because they don't give me enough information on eBay. And what I found out was 29 days in, um, in transit. It, just yesterday, it switched over to something that happened on the 13th and said it went to my post office, which that's a lie. Um, simply because since the 13th up until today, including today, there have been no packages that come to the house. So a bunch of lies. I'm going to have to reorder another Harry Potter. I think I can get one for a more reasonable price this time. <clears throat> The reason why I even took the risk is because this is the UK version of it. If I want, if I want the Jim Dale United States version, very easy to buy that. Um, I can easily just there's tons of them on eBay, but not the UK version at a reasonable price. This is just awful. The seller stopped talking to me, and I guarantee you, I know why. And I wasn't even doing anything wrong. I put a PayPal claim in, and right after that, I never heard from them again. They were still talking to me when I put the eBay claim in, but I never heard from them again after the PayPal one. And that's um, that's kind of funny. No response to PayPal either. PayPal said they had like nine days to respond to me, which um, is kind of a little bogus. That's a long time. But they don't want to give you your money back, so they, they try to stretch it out. But at least PayPal tells me what I have to do. Um, eBay doesn't give you a... a like an actual list of things that have to be accomplished. When you look at eBay, when you file a claim for something that hasn't been that hasn't um, been delivered to you, talking too fast now. When you file one of those claims, item not delivered, what happens is is that they tell you to talk to the seller for a while, and then if you can't work things out, you can do things through them. But you have no idea what eBay is going to ask from you, or what they're going to do. At least PayPal gives you some idea. Um, that's so much better than that. Um, this is awful, though. This is the kind of customer service you get. And for me, um, I want to know. I looked it up. I can't find a straight answer. What defines a package? <laughs> I'm going to put it. Um, no, there's no. Um, uh, looking for some notepads or whatever. It's going to mock something. What defines a lost package? Like, wh like what has to happen in order to confirm? confirm that it's been lost that's the problem everyone says well you should have stuck with the ebay because now i no longer have ebay coverage i feel kind of stupid for doing what i did but i thought i would get faster with paypal we'll see what happens um the problem with the ebay money back guarantee is is that they're only going to give you your money back if they know for sure that you're not going to get your package so what happens if um, they, they keep playing around with the tracking number, like I said. On the 13th, it said nothing before. Now it says it was at my post office. If they keep playing around with those numbers, that's more time that'll go by when I, I won't get the money back. I mean, that's garbage. And what, what about people that have to buy packages and can't afford to double dip and buy it again from somebody else? What do they do? People that have to buy gifts for their kids. Suppose they found something in the UK... That was really cool, like a laser disc for somebody. How are they supposed to deal with this? They'll never get the kid the package. Or anybody the package, because it won't come in in time. It's so awful what these companies are doing to people. This is all eBay's fault. And um, if the seller says anything to me, I'm going to tell them. I don't. In the future, if, you, if it's ever economical, or I'll try to find a way to say it nicely, don't use the eBay shipping program anymore, because it's awful and it also it's very inconsistent because the package before that i ordered from the same area well maybe not the same area but it was still in the uk and it got here in 16 days right at my from the day i bought it and i um to the to the day it was shipped to the day it got here 16 days total that's pretty good so in transit it was less than probably like 15 or 14 days Nope, that did not happen with the other one. The other one stalled somewhere and never made it. People are going to blame it on the holiday season. 
baloney. If one package can get through perfectly fine, there's no reason for the other ones not to do it. It's almost it, it's it's almost if people look at random packages and just throw them away. Well, we'll see what happens. Bye-bye.